now. Good evening and welcome to Newswatch 12 at 6. I'm Michael Lodholtz. Republican gubernatorial candidate Tim Michaels made a stop in north central Wisconsin today. He made the case to likely voters why he should be elected as the next governor. Michaels entered the race only about two months ago, which his critics say hurt him. He says compared to other candidates in the race, he has real life executive experience. I want to go to Madison, take my real life experience from being a commanding officer to a successful businessman, solve problems and get Wisconsin headed in the right direction. The Michaels Corporation was founded in the 1950s and after several years in the military, Michaels took over the business. In 2004, Michaels ran for U.S. Senate, losing to Democrat Russ Feingold. Despite his loss then, he thinks there is momentum to win this race. Uh, everywhere I go, people are saying, Tim, thank you for running. Uh, we need a governor like you, somebody from the outside of politics that can so help solve problems, provide leadership, and get this state headed in the right direction. Before he can take on Governor Tony Evers, Michaels will have to eventually beat the other Republican candidates, Rebecca Clayfish, Timothy Routhen, and Kevin Nicholson. That primary is on August 9th. So, Conrad, we had a pretty nice day out there. Anything uh, we should worry about? Yeah, nothing to really worry about up here, Michael. I mean, tomorrow is a different story where we might get some severe thunderstorms at that, depending how much sunshine we get and how much heating we get in the atmosphere tomorrow morning. If there's more clouds, more rain, that means the less severe storms, the more sun we get, the more the atmosphere is going to become more unstable, and that means more severe thunderstorms. And it doesn't look like much right now, just a little bit of rain in Canada here and a little bit closer to South Dakota. All of this will make its way in here by late tonight, more in the morning hours tomorrow, and then pretty much lasting throughout the day on Thursday. So it is going to be more of an on and off shower, maybe some thunderstorms as well. But right now, really nice conditions out there, just a few passing clouds. Temperatures in the 70s, same thing in Wausau in the mid to upper 70s, so a nice looking day out there today all across Wisconsin. So even the southern part of Wisconsin is in the 80s, but later on today, we'll continue to cool down into the 60s. Michael? Camp to Somas offers all kinds of fun activities for kids to do, but the most important thing they offer are the life lessons that kids can take away. Founded in 1935, to Somas Scout Camp has been providing kids of all ages fun in the outdoors for 90 years. The camp has rock climbing walls, water trampolines, and other fun games, which are also open to the public. When we first started here, um, it was only Camp Tosomas, um, and since then it's grown to feature a Scouts BSA camp that you see here, um, but we also have a Cub Scout camp, so definitely changed, but the heart of the program is still the same. When asked about Scouts evacuating civilians during the Amtrak disaster, Burmeister says that because of the lessons the kids learned at camp, these scouts were able to save lives that day in Missouri. These 14, 15, and 16 year olds were the first ones to step up um, in an event like this. Um, and I wholeheartedly attribute that to the power of scouting and the community that scouting has really built. Scouts can still register for camp at Crystal Lake until August 13th and can find more information at their website at campingisking.com slash tosomas. The city of Wausau is moving along with a plan to treat the PFAS in their water supply. The project for PFAS removal in Wausau's drinking water is estimated at $16.8 million. Some of these funds will come from the state's Safe Water Drinking Loan Program, but those funds will not be available until fall of 2023. The city will have to rely on short-term borrowing in the meantime. This strategy allows the city to move forward immediately and begin the design process for a new treatment strategy. The first phase will be accomplished when the new treatment facility is put online in late summer 2022. Construction on the new facility is scheduled to be mostly completed in mid-August of this summer. Wisconsin's Supreme Court ruled Wednesday that a conservative member of the Department of Natural Resources Policy Board may remain on the panel indefinitely. This decision comes after a year since Fred Prey, a member of the Policy Board, had his term expire. The Senate has failed to approve any of Governor Evers' applicants. The court majority decision found that the governor may appoint an officer and the Senate may confirm that person only if a vacancy in the office exists. A vacancy 
can occur only if the office holder dies, resigns, or is removed. The majority concluded, this decision by the Wisconsin Supreme Court greatly limits the appointment power of the office of governor moving forward. While the pandemic slowed things down for many cities in the country, one Northwoods town is seeing more traffic than ever. Newswatch 12's Morgan Johnson has more. Until his current job, Andrew Miskell didn't think he could love making drinks. Just absolute passion now. At the Craftsman American Tavern in Eagle River, Andrew is used to making popular drinks over and over, but he never gets tired of it. Our wild blue meals are number one. The Craftsman opened in 2020 and from the beginning it was a hit. Right away. I mean, we opened obviously at a very strange time, <laughs> but it still either way ended up being a massive success the first summer. The Craftsman opening is part of a bigger trend that Eagle River is seeing. A lot of these downtown Eagle River businesses were empty up until just a few years ago, right when the pandemic hit. Over the last couple of years, Eagle River has been blessed with new businesses uh, starting up in, in the downtown area and throughout Eagle River. While the pandemic put other businesses in jeopardy, Eagle River flourished. I think we've actually increased the traffic in that area because we have had more businesses come to town. Karen Margolovsky works with the Eagle River Revitalization Program. She believes the town has something for everyone. Everybody is really excited and sometimes it's hard to have that good mix. Um, you know, sometimes there's a lot of touristy type businesses added and sometimes there's more focus towards the locals. With, with this, we have a variety for both. Karen says the amount of businesses that recently opened, over 25 to be more specific, are helping the community come together after a long two years of the pandemic. So we got some wild blueberries going in here. Andrew sees that firsthand. He knows that if the restaurant could make it through a pandemic, there's only good things to come. The Eagle River community is an extremely open and accepting community. At least it has been to me. Pretty much anybody can walk into a place and be greeted with open arms. And that's really the number one thing for me. Reporting for Newswatch 12 in Eagle River, I'm Morgan Johnson. Sunny skies and the summer heat will have people flocking to the lake this holiday weekend. Coming up after the break, learn how to stay safe when on the boat. That's After Weather with Conrad right here on Newswatch 12. News Watch 12 is brought to you by Bone and Joint Walk-In Care. When my family opened the first Culver's in Sauk City, Wisconsin, you know what we did? We gave it our all, making sure everyone felt welcome, sharing our favorite foods from around the state, like butter burgers and fresh frozen custard, greeting every guest with all our heart, crafting each meal with care, leaving a smile makes everything taste better. And it's a tradition we bring with us yet today, from our hometown to yours. Welcome to Delicious. There's nothing more important than our kids' education. Tony Evers is a former teacher, so he gets it. He worked with both parties to fund schools by more than we have in the last 20 years. Our schools are now ranked in the top 10 in America. Evers is investing in skills and technical training. And mental health counseling for kids who need it and he launched programs to recruit and train teachers. He wants to reduce class sizes for more personalized learning. Tony Evers. Tony Evers. He's doing the right thing on education. At Northwoods Furniture, we're celebrating America with our 4th of July sales event. Enjoy store-wide savings at both locations. We have it all. Quality furniture and mattresses to fit everyone's comfort and style. Enjoy shopping in our relaxed, friendly atmosphere. No high pressure, no price gimmicks, just honest savings. Hurry in for best selections. Our 4th of July sales event ends soon. Northwoods Furniture and Mattress in Eagle River, celebrating 15 years in business. Attention, four-legged playful friends. At Paws and Claws, we have life jackets and water toys. Stop into Paws and Claws and treat your four-legged family member to some playful toys to get in the water with them. And always, swim responsibly. Get your tickets now for the Price County PRCA Rodeo. July 1st, Country Music Night featuring John King. July 2nd and 3rd, Price County PRCA Rodeo features professional cowboys and cowgirls. Proudly presented by the Price County Tavern League.
Good afternoon and welcome back everyone. So this is the scene we had this morning. Pretty much zero visibility out there. So hopefully you guys uh, were out and about and very safely at that. Driving conditions were really bad earlier in the morning, but then the sun came out, started to warm up and all of that fog started to dissipate. Luckily for us, that is continuing out here right now. Just a few clouds, especially north of us. Some uh, drizzle will be moving in very shortly and more rain and thunderstorms will be possible really late tonight and then into tomorrow. So we need to keep an eye on the storms tomorrow. And then once again on Sunday into Monday, more chances of some light rain, but temperatures today really looking nice out there. Some uh, good sport weather uh, with temperatures in the mid 70s out there right here in Rhinelander, 77 in Wausau, 76 in Ladysmith, but check out Eau Claire coming in at a whopping 82 two degrees. Green Bay is also trying to reach that 80 degree mark, but not quite 80 degrees as they are hovering in the 70s. So 70s and 80s across the whole entire state. So real nice and crispy weather today. But look at tomorrow's forecast. Lots of sunshine, some on and off thunderstorms with temperatures back in the upper 70s. Even some 80s starting to peak up up there closer to Adams and by the Wisconsin Rapids with more chances of rain and thunderstorms. Depending on how much sunlight we get, depends on how strong these storms are going to be. But temperatures the rest of the week are going to look really nice out there. Close to 80 degrees by Thursday and then uh, around 76, 77 by Friday, Saturday. But look at Sunday into our of July 4th, Monday, 70s will be continuing even into next week. So nice and enjoyable weather at that will be continuing the next week to maybe even the next 10 days out there before we start to warm up a slight bit back into the 80s. But winds out there are a little bit on the breezy and blowing from the south southeast at around 12 miles per hour here in Rhinelander, 14 closer to Wausau. Iron Mountain is also coming in at a sustained wind at around 12 miles per hour with gusts coming close to 25, 30 miles an hour in some locations. But winds tonight will really continue to be blowing out there with temperatures dropping in the low to mid 60s. Rain showers and thunderstorms will be possible, especially later on in the overnight hours. Tomorrow, same story, some showers and on and off thunderstorms throughout the day. Some might actually be strong with uh, really gusty winds and maybe some hail will be possible with those really gusty winds and those storms. But our seven day outlook brought to you by Northwest Furniture and Mattress does show below average to average temperatures sticking around all this week and once again into next week. Michael. A request has been made by a leader of the U.S. Federal Communications Commission to remove the popular social media app, TikTok, from the Apple and Google app stores. The request comes over China-related security concerns. The massive video app is owned by Chinese company ByteDance, which faced U.S. scrutiny under former President Donald Trump. One of the FCC's commissioners, Brendan Carr, penned a letter to the Apple CEO, Tim Cook, and Alphabet CEO Sundar Pichai, where Carr pointed to reports that made TikTok non-compliant with the two companies' app store. Carr stated, at its core, TikTok functions as a, as a sophisticated surveillance tool that harvests extensive amounts of personal and sensitive data. It remains to be seen if Alphabet or Apple will remove the immensely successful app. The Supreme Court ruled today that states can prosecute non-Native Americans for crimes committed on tribal land. The 5-4 decision cut back on the high court's ruling from 2020 that said a large chunk of eastern Oklahoma remains as American Indian Reservation. The first decision left the state unable to prosecute Native Americans accused of crimes on tribal lands that include most of Tulsa, the state's second largest city with a population of about 413,000. A state court later ruled that the Supreme Court decision also stripped the state of its ability to prosecute anyone for crimes committed on tribal land if either the victim or perpetrator is Native American. That would have left the federal government with sole authority to prosecute such cases. Disgraced r and singer R. Kelly was sentenced to 30 years in prison Wednesday it follows the conviction last year on federal racketeering and sex trafficking, sex trafficking charges, stemming from his efforts over years to use his fame 
to ensnare victims he sexually abused. Prosecutors asked for more than 25 years in jail. Defense attorneys believed he should face a maximum of 10 years, and according to the unsealed court documents, they said the abuse Kelly dealt with as a child should account for a lenient sentence. Now that he's been sentenced, Kelly is expected to be taken to Chicago where he faces a federal trial for child pornography and obstruction charges. With the 4th of July right around the corner, it is sure to be a busy weekend on the water for boaters. Newswatch 12's Derek Dreifurst spoke on a local warden of the DNR and how they can stay safe while out on the water. While gas prices have seen record highs, that hasn't stopped some people from taking to the waters and enjoying the lakes of the North Woods. And with the 4th of July right around the corner, many people are going out on the lake in boats enjoying the holiday. But it's important to make sure that you stay safe while out on the lake. Keep the alcohol on shore. Don't boat while intoxicated. That should be a pretty simple one. And just watch that slow and awake. That's the other issue that we get complaints about a lot. Slow and awake violations near shore near piers and near rafts. Christopher Bartelt, Woodruff's warden supervisor, is in charge of making sure people stay safe while out on the water. Boating while intoxicated, operating while intoxicated with a boat is very similar to that with a motor vehicle. You can't operate while intoxicated and there's a prohibited alcohol concentration. But it's not just alcohol. Bartelt also warns against driving too fast near shores, piers, and rafts. You know, a motor, a motor boat is still a two, 3,000 pound vehicle that can travel 40, 50 miles an hour, um, and they need a lot, of, a lot of respect when they're operated. But if there's one thing you should do if you're planning on going out on the lake, it's to make sure someone knows where you'll be. Always make sure you tell somebody where you're going. Stuff always comes up. That's the nature of taking an adventure in the Northwoods. And we want to make sure that if we do need to come find you, we've got a good place to start looking, and that starts with you telling your loved ones where you're going to be. Reporting from Lake Tomahawk, Derek Dreifers, Newswatch 12. Furniture and Appliance Mart's 72-hour sale just got better. This Saturday through Monday, doorbusters up to 52% off. A $1,000 purchase is just $21 a month. Plus, take a holiday bonus of up to 10% off our sale prices at checkout at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Politicians have been threatening it. Now the Supreme Court's done it, triggering a ban on nearly all abortions in Wisconsin, even in cases of rape and incest. And Senator Ron Johnson sided with them on overturning Roe v. Wade, punishing doctors and hurting people, putting our health and reproductive rights in danger. Johnson even said, if you don't like it, you can move. Tell Senator Ron Johnson to protect us, not punish us. Leisure City has been making a splash since 1989 as Northern Wisconsin's backyard headquarters for hot tubs, spas, saunas, grills, and outdoor furniture. Plus, our product knowledge, installation, and service are truly exceptional. Check out our supply of 100% recycled poly furniture. Our focus is on you. Any service needed, we will meet or exceed expectations. We take pride in our customer service. Leisure City is a nationally recognized award-winning dealer. Stop down at our showroom in Woodruff to see our large selection. At Lakeside Living Design, we've always got something stylish in store for you. Whether you're looking for high-quality custom upholstery, decorative accessories and gifts, or are designing your space entirely from scratch, you'll have a friendly designer by your side sharing their expertise, helping you bring your unique style to life. So stop by, explore our showroom, and together we'll make your space feel just like home. Music every weekend, never a cover, and drinks priced right. TV pool, darts, and more. It's Happy's Pub in downtown Woodruff. Beautiful home in Lake Tomahawk, Wisconsin includes pole building, blacktop drive, and home generator. Being sold to the highest bidder regardless of price. Contact Brass and St. Louis Auctions for more details. For over 30 years, Watash Fireworks has delivered a huge exclusive selection of the best performing high quality fireworks not found anywhere else. Located on Peace Pipe Road, downtown Lac de Flambeau. It's Furniture and Appliance Mart Stars and Stripes 72 hour sale. Save $1,000 on luxury brands. Get any size Beautyrest Harmony and Harmony Lux or Lux Hybrid mattress for the price of a twin, plus a bonus of 30% off at checkout. Happening right now. Cutting edge concepts meet carrying. Carrying culinary, as a group of ex-rocket scientists wade into the world of pizza delivery, Jeremy Roth has today's take, and let's take a look at it. 
Why is it that scientific strides in robotics always seem to end up in human humiliation? Yeah. Seriously, our robots dominate us in board games, out boogie us on the dance floor, even travel from the future to hunt us for sport. But finally, finally, someone has invented a robot with a lofty purpose for the good of mankind. I am, of course, talking about pizza. A team of former rocket scientists and restaurateurs in California have created a fully automated pizza-making robot on wheels that uses complex algorithms to track traffic, schedule its bake, and make the pizzas en route to the customer, pumping out the piping hot pies right on time. This ambitious and delicious concept took years of development and tasty trial and error. Can't even count the number of pizzas I've eaten. But these bad scientists say they've cracked the code on high-quality za straight from the oven to your door. Now that's some science you can smile about. Hey, uh, oh, no, you don't have to. Seriously, stop it right now. A wild scene unfolded at a Thai airport when a security checkpoint x-ray revealed a pair of traveler's suitcases contained a literal menagerie of live animals. Porcupines, armadillos, turtles, lizards, and snakes, all alive, were found inside the two pieces of luggage. What were they thinking? Finally, think on this. A cast of Rodin's famous sculpture, The Thinker, will soon hit the auction block, giving art lovers a chance to nab one of the world's most iconic works. Think you're interested? Well, Christie's is thinking it could fetch up to $15 million. So think on that. For Take a Look at This, I'm Jeremy Roth. Do something. This summer, Prime Rib is the star. Bite into the new Primal Angus Thick Burger at Hardee's. See Jurassic World Dominion now in theaters. $5,000 a year. That's the burden of Joe Biden's inflation tax on Wisconsin families. They can't afford it. From the grocery store to the gas station, we're all paying the price for Biden's massive deficit spending. Ron Johnson has the courage to say no to spending that is mortgaging our children's future. And his small business tax cuts help them compete and survive the pandemic. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. Change it up and choose Dutch Boy from Menards. Get the best quality Dutch Boy paints at the best prices. Pick out the perfect color. We offer free custom color matching and tinting to create thousands of color options. And with Dutch Boy's easy opening, smooth pouring container and no prep, no prime formula, transforming your home has never been easier. Save 11%. And all Dutch Boy paints now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Be sure to plan a stop on your next trip touring the scenic Northwoods to Winkler's Greenhouse and Gifts in Boulder Junction. With more than 12,000 different perennial plants and flowers, plus assorted shrubs, annuals, hanging baskets, charming pottery, and bird baths. Located on Park Street in Boulder Junction and open 9 to 5, 7 days a week. Winkler's Greenhouse and Gifts, we look forward to meeting you. Everyone sleeps at Tomahawk Furniture and Gun with prices so low you'll have to bend over to see them. Prices that make your eyes pop out. Want to sleep watching TV? Check out our recliners. You want to pass up face first in a sofa? Check out our sofas. And beds, we've got beds. Check us out, prices so low you'll think we're crazy. Because everyone sleeps at Tomahawk Furniture and Gun. Horrible. Great. Time for another one of these. Find into the new Primal Burrito or Biscuit with Prime Rib at Hardee's. See Jurassic World Dominion now in theaters. The St. Germain Chamber of Commerce presents their summer concert crawl. Join us at this local establishment for great live music. Some 70s out there right now. Most of the state is under some 70s, so real nice weather. So slightly below average as we are supposed to be around 78 degrees. More clouds are also starting to roll in as more showers and thunderstorms roll in by tonight, especially late tonight and then into tomorrow once again. But look at Friday and Saturday, more sunshine before another low pressure system moves in by Sunday. And once again, maybe some more chances by 4th of July on Monday. Well. Thanks for watching Newswatch 12 at 6. Stay tuned for Wheel of Fortune.